Welcome to my channel. I'm D Hicks. Today I'm reviewing CCleaner PC Optimizing Tool. What is CCleaner? It is the world's favorite PC optimization tool that is easy to use with one click cleaning so beginners can optimize their computers in seconds and it's packed with advanced features for power users. As computers get older, it collects unused files and settings which take up hard drive space, making it slower and slower. CCleaner cleans up these files and makes it faster instantly. While online, advertisers and websites track your behavior online with cookies that stay on your computer. CCleaner erases your browser search history and cookies so internet browsing you do stays confidential and your identity remains anonymous. CCleaner also prevents fewer errors and crashes. Over time, your registry can become cluttered with errors and broken settings, which lead to crashes. CCleaner Patented Registry Cleaner clears out this clutter to make your PC more stable. CCleaner also helps with quicker startup. Many programs run solidly in the background when you start your, your computer. CCleaner helps you get to work or play faster by letting you disable unneeded programs. All right, now we moved on to the uh, C Cleaner review. Okay, as you can see, I have the uh, C Cleaner Professional. There are three versions, the free version, two paid version. They have another one is C Cleaner Professional Plus. But I just uh, went on and bought the C Cleaner Professional. Okay. This is some of the options you could do uh, with the cleaner here in Windows. You can clean the Microsoft Edge, the uh, Internet Explorer, and the Windows Explorer, and the system itself. There's various options and you can check to have clean. And uh, I'm not going to run through all of them. But, uh, But it's got uh, on down to advance. Let's see in advance you can uh, uh, check window event logs, old prefetch data, menu order cache, trade note notification cache on it, and several others. And I, you see down below I got custom files and folders checked. Okay, it's a, a lot of options you can choose to uh, have cleaned. just have to uh, go through it and uh, check the ones you want to be clean and what you don't and it, uh, you, it has windows here and uh, you got applications here the applications include uh, Firefox Google Chrome Windows Store other applications which include uh, Adobe Reader Google Earth and other apps internet and multimedia stuff and utilities uh, you just simply check what you want and it will also clean those as you can see here in Firefox it'll clean the internet cache internet history the cookies download history and sessions and it does same in Google Chrome like there's a lot of things you can have clean, a lot of uh, applications here, uh, uh, which you can have clean by uh, CCleaner. I'm going to uh, press analyze to see if there's anything to be cleaned on my computer. You just click analyze, and it's going to analyze. Okay, it has done the cleaning in uh, uh, some of the systems I need a cleaning. Okay, 
it cleaned out some temporary internet files and in internet explorer windows explorer and system temporary files and memory dumps and windows logs and google chrome's uh, internet cache internet history cookies and session and the windows store it cleans some stuff out of there and cleans some stuff out of windows defender and uh windows search it cleans some stuff out of it too all right moving on to uh registry here if you clean your registry you can do it here with uh seat cleaner um you can uh press the button below to uh scan for issues and then there's a button in the uh, right corner which says it will uh, fix selected issues I don't I've been uh, seeing different things about registry fix stuff some some people say do not mess with it it don't you don't have no benefits from it and some say it does it will help your uh, computer run faster but if you want to use this you can but I'll always create a, a system restore uh, point so that if something does happen you can always restore your computer now we move it on to the third box which is tools here you have several options where you can uninstall and um, you can uninstall material you can uh, limit stuff in startup and um, click on and enable or disable any uh, programs in your Internet Explorer or Firefox or Google Chrome here it, it kills all your uh, extensions and plugins that's in your browsers here if you don't want to use it anymore you can disable it or delete it all together here and you can analyze your uh, disk here you can analyze your all your hard drives here and you can find duplicates with this button and here it shows a listing of your system restores with the latest one blacked out so it, uh, if something happened you still will have this one to fall back upon I have four had four restore points made in the uh, last few weeks here and this one last one is the drive wiper you can wipe any particular drive here but you got to be careful not to right wipe your OS drive it'd be a uh, it'd be a biggest mistake you ever done but be careful here uh, if you want to uh, clean a particular drive and replace it you can do it here as well okay I like this un uninstall feature it can uninstall all the uh, programs on your computer and then it cleans leftovers over as well now, uh, I use this a lot when I want to uninstall a program I'm not using anymore Okay, now the fourth box here. Here is it contains settings, cookies, and uh, what uh, include, exclude, monitoring users, advance, and about. And settings here. Here you can set the um, control how uh, CCleaner functions. Like there's one option where you can run CCleaner when when the computer starts. And there's another one you can set a schedule when to run. I have mine's particularly set at uh, 8 p.m. every day. And um, I also have the ability to add run C cleaner option to your recycle bin. And also it, you can set it to automatically check for updates and enable silent background updates. And, uh, and various other options here if you want to um, secure deletion here and wipe free space drives you check those options there okay if you want to but I wouldn't check the one 
these drives if you're still using them. Cookies. Um, here you can uh, uh, keep the cookies you want and you can delete the cookies. If it's a cookie here, you uh, click on it and say delete. Delete it if you want. And this option here is to include the folders you want to scan on your computer. Like I have chose clip art. Clip art is where I keep pictures uh, that I'm going to use for a short time and possibly want to uh, delete them. You uh, simply uh, click this button and add the different folders you want to have cleaned and I also have one for downloaded programs if I don't uh, need to uh, use those programs and just simply add them and be included in cleaning. And you can also exclude files if uh, if it's in a particular, if you uh, say clean the whole uh, downloads folder you can click the uh, add the files you do not want cleaned out of there. And monitoring this here where we you enable uh, browser monitoring it uh like Microsoft Edge here is that you can set it to automatically clean on closing the browser with notification or you here are some other options you can prompt me to clean uh, prompt me to open CCleaner or it, you can also have it do not monitor uh, the browser at all that's these selections are uh, available in all these other four browsers here here you can set where you want other users of your computer to use it there's a uh, uh, where setting where you can set it for you only or the second one all users or you can select individual users okay and advance here are additional settings to control how it function this is uh, generally for more advanced users um, I got one option checked to only delete files in Windows temp folders older than 24 hours and uh, the other one I have checked is show prompt to back up registry too but I don't even use that function so and the other one is skip user account control warning and the uh, uh, fourth one check is enable Windows jump list task and if you uh, have checked something in this box uh, like uh, other things like close program after cleaning, shut down after cleaning, minimize the system tray. You have different other options here. And uh, but if you want to restore everything to defaults, you can click on the uh, blue button right bo uh, below restore default settings. Okay. And about here is just uh, information about C Cleaner and it's uh, versions and it's a 64-bit and you have a link to go right to it as a uh, website and here you can follow follow CCleaner on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and YouTube and here in the corner I don't know if you can see you can click on this to check for updates for this program and here has it, this has the information about your computer and it has the what uh, windows you're running like I have Windows 10 Pro running and uh, it shows that I have an Intel Core i7 6700K CPU and what it's a uh, 4.0 gigahertz 16 gigabytes of RAM and a uh, particular graphics card you're running which is NVIDIA, NVIDIA GeoForce GTX 960. My computer is currently uh, overclocked at 4.5. It's just showing the basic information from that CPU. Okay. Well, this has been a review of my uh, C Cleaner uh, Professional Edition, and um, it uh, cleans my computer uh, very, very well. And I've been using it for years, and haven't had no problems out of it. So I would highly recommend this here uh, app for anyone.
it's also available for Android as well I use it in on my phone and yeah uh, uh, highly recommend this program if you like this video please like and if you want to subscribe for more videos you can uh, click on subscribe take care I'll see you in the next one